Hey, I'm Kev Kem, welcome back to TT Isle of Man, right on the edge, which yeah, you definitely did last time out in Scotland around the Isle of Man circuit in this section, as well as we're returning to the mountain course for 11.3 kilometer stretch, as we have got nine opponents in it, like for Andy Allen, if we can see that correctly, yes, we've got Kazaki's the Triumph, a couple more Hondas, and a Yamaha as well. Let's see what the ace can do. Maybe he can do much better than fifth, which he did in this stretch previously. So here we are at the start of the 7.3 kilometers long stretch. As we up the engine, get underway on our Honda Super Sport bike. Hope we can do better in this first section than we did last time out. Finished down in fifth. And I thought we did pretty well for a first time round here. So maybe we've got to be a bit more aggressive this time around, but then we're pretty good in the other section. Hopefully they cancel each other out then. Let's go a bit wider than the left hander, that's a good start. As we go through the hawthorn, we're going to be pushing it like a hell. Flat out through the first right. And then slight lift in the second. Yes, now we've got a superb run heading into the tight right hander. And then this little straight, getting some slit stream as well off the rider in front. Getting to the braking zone, got to dive it down the inside. So we don't get hurled up. Nicely done in. Is that Buddha Crane? One day, I don't know how to pronounce stuff, as that's not going to be today. So we go through the little chicane and build a speed up before this left hander. And you've got a couple of deceptive corners coming out. This left hander, you can take perhaps a bit more speed through. And then the right hander coming up, you take less speed through than you think. Because you've got the rocks on the outside, there it is. And then you've got the next left hander that's just tight and a bit wide. And then into the tight right hander over the bridge. And then we've got some fast sweepers and then a long straight. So let's see how we take these sweepers then. Through to the left. Ooh, a bit wide on the exit. Had to get it down to third for the right. That is not good. That's cost us some time slightly. And it looks like it's all left-handers now. It's a dab in the brakes. You can do it into that left-hander, but not into all the left-handers. There we go. Definitely have to dab it into that one. Tight corner. Probably should have taken it in second, but giving a higher gear in just to have a smooth exit. And again, through the next one, as we are gaining on the rider in front, which is always good. Shows we're not going to be last, at least. So a bit wide through that left hand at the end. So go build the speed through these sweepers down this straight. As so you are joining two sections, we may have really improved it, but not together. So it'll be interesting to see how we handle that transition. As there we go, everything's becoming the blow again. Lift slightly, dab the brakes slightly through that right. That's a bit of a kink at 180 miles per hour. Next right, another, and now we're in this section which we've ridden previously. So I handled that transition, not too bad at all. But now we've got this rider in front, got to try and clear them somehow. Let's see this slightly, and then we've got this tricky left hander, go down the inside, nicely done. Another section, we've correctly got some vicious sweepers. High speed, definitely didn't need to slow that much for that corner. Now we've got that rider coming back at us. We build the speed up again. But then you've got Barrow Grove. Barrow Grao, should I say. And you've got this left hander. Nicely done. And we are pulling away from the rider behind as we go to the finish. And where do we end up? First? Are you kidding? Well, I'm with 30 seconds ahead of Philip Taylor on the 1 2, then Steve March on the Triumph once again on the podium. Then we've got the Yamaha in fourth, then the Kazakis. The Honda and Carpal Kazakis at the back, but. Really? Still around a four minute bow, we'd have won by around 10 seconds. That's insane. So overall, we lead by two tenths. Ahead of Spencer Johns, and we've got Harry Micro in front of the Kazaki. 
Steve March rounds out the top five. Philip Cartman rounds out the top ten on his Kawasaki. As you look further down, we've got 28 riders, it looks like. So it's still first. So not a bad result then through sections three and five. Cannot believe that. That was another victory though for the ace. Never never not believe in the ace. Always be believing, has. Should we do? We've got the Antrim Speed Trap TT. We've got the Old Bear Forest Race. We've already done that though, haven't we? Is that in the last episode? Then we got the choice here of the Triangle Raceway TT, you know, it's like. I'm not sure we want to do that just yet. What's the prize money like? Two and a half thousand for each. Should we just go with the first one? Got one race here. And let's see how we do at a new track. As here we are in Northern Ireland for three laps in a TT Star race. We've got four other competitors on the Yamahas and Kazakis. We've got a 12 kilometer long track. This is going to be a long one. As here we are revving up the engine for the start of this three lap event as we get underway our board, our Honda Super Sport bike. Around this 12 kilometer long circuit in Northern Ireland. I know apart from the TT Ottoman circuit, all the tracks are fictional, so is this track meant to be based on the one that's used for the Northwest 200 or other Northern Irish road racing tracks? There's another big one, isn't there? This is going to part of the Holy Trinity of events that road racers want to win the TT Isle of Man, Northwest 200. And there's another event which unfortunately escapes my mind at the moment. I do apologize about that, but. Yeah, I'm loving these fictional tracks as well. Really do kick to the elements that you would expect to see on road racing tracks. I don't know why I break there, but we've just been cautious on this first lap. And then on the second lap, sort of push it a bit more. And on the third lap, you know, guns out, balls out, legs out, everything out on that final lap. But it's just to learn this 12 kilometer so long track as all. Oh, we've got a tight corner coming up. Get down to third. Who's right hander? It's nicely done. Very ginger on the brakes and the power in this first lap. So we've got a left hander, which is another tasty kink there. Got quite a few of them already on this circuit. Got bumps as well to contend with, so we've got to watch out for the bike kicking up. So we go into the right hander. We keep this keep it in second in looks like not quite a third gear. Maybe a third gear corner. It's kind of second or third that corner. So watch out for that when we start to push it a bit more in the next couple of laps. We go building a speed. This is very high speed this track as well. I do love this element of it. So let's slow it down a bit for the left hander. This is very intriguing left hander. Take that in fifth maybe. Start pushing. Nah, and it's like it is our fourth gear. One has. We head into a very tight corner, it looks like. Let's get the braking done. Down to first, are we? Going to the hairpin or a bit of a change in gradient as well. Got to watch out for that, not to carry too much speed into that corner. Or we end up into the bow in the air. Head first into the bow as well. Don't be doing that for a rider. But the ace won't be road racing for much longer. To go through the right hand to build the speed up again. But then we've got fast kinks coming up. Go through the left. There are lots of fast kinks. Look at that. In the bottom left. So we might have to slow down for this corner. Put it down to second in the end. That's a much tighter corner than it looks as well. In the bottom left. So that's another deceptive corner. To put in our memory bank. Lots of trees on the exit, I'm sure I remember that for the next lap. So go through left hand in fifth. We're not carrying enough speed at the moment. Say that in fifth. We've got down to fourth as well. Here we go. A tight right hander. Sure he just links us back up to the start finish 
Straight. This is it in second. Probably should have done it in first. As for 12 kilometers on, I expect to the lap time to be around four minutes. So it's kind of lining up. And there we go. There is the start finish line. So we do it in 3.54, 3.55. So the jump there. So we had to lift majorly. Remember that from the first lap. So let's push it a bit more on this second lap. Remember to take these first corners in sixth gear. There's a right-hander coming up, which would probably be better to take in fifth. It's this right-hander. Get down to fifth. Keep the revs up. There we go. That's nicely done. We should see on the next that what our gap is for everyone else as well. That's when we're going to find out. So now we go through this section. Almost clipped. Fence on the inside. Oh, I thought that was the slow right hand. It's the next one coming up, isn't it? We have to get it down to fifth. Running slightly wide. We keep it upright. That's the most important thing. In all these races, in every event, just keeping it upright. Build the speed up. We have to get it back down to third gear. Pull this right hand. Uh, almost two. Lean too far into the corner, clipping the wall. Just about survive. There's at least for this game now that I'm kind of gotten used to the handling now. At least on these super sport bikes. Boy, when we step up to the super bikes, might be a world of pain learning those. But now I've got to stand in here. It's not just about surviving these events now. Now I can kind of start feeling like I can push it a bit more. Especially on these circuit events, you saw that Scotland event. Just motored away from everyone else because it's a short track. Not much to memorize. So I had it down after a few attempts. So yeah, I can really push it as... Oh no, that's wide. Ooh, just about survived then. Go into the hairpin, get it down to first gear. Get all the way down. Around 40 miles per hour as we hit the advertising on the inside. That was a bit clumsy. Remember to lean forward as well as you've got some dirt and muck on. Our windscreen, which is not good. Let's go through the left. Lift off slightly for that. Then we can go flat through the right. And use that pavement on the inside as like a curb on a circuit. Just graze it with your knee, your leg. And lift through this left hander. He's got some tricky corners here, just fast sweepers. Which leads into this right hander. Get down to second. They go clipping that apex. Could really take that in second, like the first lap. Maybe just carried a bit more speed, but a bit cautious this time. And it's so we've got that left hander coming up, which we'll definitely have to lift for. We can definitely take him fifth as well as we're coming towards the end of this second lap. Quarter's wide there. And get it down to first this time for the right. Oh, definitely better in first. Look at that acceleration away. Already up to 100 miles per hour. Only in third gear. You flat out through the final corner. So just one lap to go. Now oh, we're not finding out how we're doing. You go over that little kink. We'll find out at the end. I feel like we're doing well though. So here we go, this is the balls out that. We start to push it a bit more than we did on that previous lap, which we did really push on to be fair. So you go into the right, get it down to fifth. Keep that throttle in. Do not want to be lifting off harshly on these bikes. You always want to keep some throttle in. Which is the same for any vehicle really, isn't it? I'm going to be doing that with a car. As I keep forgetting that's not the tight right hand, it's the one coming up. Here we go. Still a bit wide in that corner, that's not very good. And build the speed back up. 
Through the left, approaching 180 miles per hour before we have the brake. With this right hand, they're getting it down to second this time. That wasn't too bad on the acceleration, third was a bit bulky. Wasn't as good on the acceleration away. Definitely shouldn't have got it down to third there though. Fourth is definitely the way to go. You've got this tight right hander. Get it down to second again. Is that got all the air balloons in the air? What the hell? So many hot air balloons. Want to get a good vantage point of the road racing, no doubt. There's not many better than that. There's oh that that little change in direction there. Gradient causing the bike to hop. It's always clinch buttocks on that. We go through this long left hand to get it down to fourth. We accelerate and heavy braking just around this sign. Get it down to first. Try to get on the power a bit too early there and a bit wide, but. Wasn't bad on the exit. Especially through this left hander. Slight lift. And then flat out through the right. A bit wide in that left though. And then we have to lift through the next left. And we have to lift for the next right. And then we've got the tight right hander coming up. So you've already kind of learnt this circuit already, just on this, by this third lap, and after a couple of attempts, no doubt you'll see that at the end, the outtakes. And this would be a bit of a longer episode as well, I didn't anticipate this kind of event. So we go a bit wide through the left, we've got nicely on the power, and slightly through the right. So you approach. That hairpin, and then nice and smooth on the power. Because we've just got one flat out corner to go. We survive! Yes, we've done this event in Northern Ireland in 11 16. Not sure that's good enough. Always, by over a minute, ahead of the Yamaha and a couple of Kazakis and the Yamaha at the back. So win in the end by 22 seconds and it's like ahead of the Kawasaki Peter March is swapped. Then from the Triumph to the Kawasaki for this event. And we've got the Honda Kawasaki and Yamaha. And we've got a Kawasaki with Neil Clooney. Clooney should I say. Running out the top 10 as that is all of the runners and riders then. So not a bad couple of races there has got some more event offers. Let's just scroll down. Well, you've done the old Blair Forest race, so don't we be doing that one again? Even though it's got a good first prize of 10,000. It's only got 2,500. 14,000 here. Honda Invitational. We'll definitely try that, but we've got some time until then. So maybe, maybe we'll start with this old Blair Forest race next time out then. As out for watching, and I will see you then. Oh, there's a wall. Yes, yes, this definitely is a straight. Or not. You can see the other rider in front as you go through Glen Helen. Hope we're being poor in this section. And then being good in the other. Will mean we crash. Got a much better run. Keep the speed up. I forget about the left. And right with a slight lift. What's it doing? It doesn't know we're going to finish last. Then we can't see where the road's going. We need to slow it down slightly. Oh my god. Going through this right and... I keep forgetting what that event is. Fuck it. Event as well. And then you've got the touring cars too, so... 
That fucked it. This I've got a right hander, which is a bit tighter. Come on. Which is hurts. Oh my god. What the fuck? 